Now we're going to teach you how to remove the controller or the RTD sensor. First things first, always unplug your Smoking Brothers grill. Never leave your grill plugged up while you are doing any maintenance work to the barbecue grill. Now what you're going to do first is going to go ahead and take the screws out of the controller. When you do that, you're left, you pull this forward and you see a terminal block. That terminal block is where this sensor, you'll see two wires actually connected to this terminal block. All right, and it's a little flathead screwdriver that, that connects the two. Remove those two wires, and then underneath, you'll see where this, this wire has been spooled up into it may have been done similar to that and wrapped up and had a loop put around it. So you will need to undo that loop in order to pull this wire out completely to replace it. Now you'll open up your grill and in that grill you'll see the 516 screw. That 516 screw needs to be removed and then you will pull this piece out all the way. And then you'll have this and you'll take the new piece and thread it back through that hole down to it. Now I'm going to show you over at the table how to disconnect and reconnect the controller to the right right wires. Now we, as we move over here alright now I'm going to show you how the controller connects to the right right uh, pieces to your grill. Right components. Now the purple and white wire will plug up to the hot rod which is this nice vanilla looking off-white wire is considered the hot rod. Now the muffin fan will actually go to the orange and white wire. It will plug into the orange and white wire. Now your wire with the red dot is actually your auger motor. That auger motor will plug up to the red and white wire. Then your black and white wire is the power cord. The black and white wire plug that into that and that will turn on that will give you power to your control board. Now again earlier I was telling you about the sensors you want to make sure you have them in the terminal block correctly. The main reason being because if you don't you will end up with an error code when you go to plug the grill back in and I'll show you what that error code will look like. Right now, we're going to turn on the grill. I have one, one in the terminal block, one without. The grill is on. Now it's going to read ERH. If you see ERH, that means that your, your terminal block for your wires, for your RTD sensors, did not get replaced, put in correctly. Now you have that error code. The first things first is to unplug your grill before you do anything because you're going to need to remove the controller. Unplug the grill and then take the two screws out of the controller, look forward at that green terminal block. Go ahead and put the, make sure the two wires are terminated properly and then reinstall everything again.